Hey everyone, it's Steve with MalibuParts.com. We're out here on a beautiful sunny summer day and we are so excited for this upcoming summer to see your friends and family out there on the water creating the best memory. Today we wanted to cover a few things that are often overlooked when people are summer prepping their boats. So let's jump right on in. That first trip out to the lake is always a really exciting day and sometimes it's easy to forget to check your lug nuts and make sure those are tight or check your air pressure um, or check your tread. Um, these are things that are important to do to, to obviously have a successful day out on the lake. It's always frustrating when you go down the road and blow a tire. So we recommend just take a few minutes, check your tire tread, check your sidewalls to make sure there's no tearing or cracking, your air pressure to make sure the tires are up to spec and um, this will ensure just a good successful day out on the lake. Just going over one of the most overlooked service items uh, and that is checking your brake fluid. Um, a couple of reasons why your brake fluid could go down. Um, one, just over time. Uh, as your brake pads um, are worn down, your surge brakes work harder and harder using more and more brake fluid. Also heat or obviously any leaks or, or holes in any of your lines can cause uh, your fluid to, to go down. So we recommend uh, removing this cap here. Um, you'll notice there's another cap that needs to be removed for the actual brake fluid reservoir. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that this brake fluid is all the way to the top of this reservoir. That's gonna help you uh, travel safely down the road. All right guys, we're here at the front of the trailer with one of the most exciting parts, the winch strap. After a season of boating, these can experience a lot of wear and tear. This is a simple thing to check. Just simply undo it from the entire winch and inspect for any dry rot or tears or cracks. And if it is damaged, go ahead and replace it. And that will for sure help your family uh, stay safe on and off the water. Here we are at the bottom of this 23 LSV and we always encourage our customers to just quickly inspect the underwater gear before you go to the lake. Check your rudder, your propeller, your shaft, your strut, and also your tracking fins to make sure those are straight. Uh, they, ha they haven't experienced any damage and they're all in alignment. And that'll just ensure a good experience, a smooth day of boating on the lake. All right, we wanted to touch on a few important maintenance items that relate to your engine and your cooling system. One of those being your sea strainer. Uh, this does a great job when equipped, filtering out any un unwanted debris that could potentially harm your engine or your cooling system. All right guys, one of the most critical uh, systems on your boat is your cooling system. And its job is to keep your engine nice and cool and functioning properly. Part of that cooling system includes a water pump impeller. Over here I have a brand new water pump that has great fins that's gonna pump a lot of water and keep that engine nice and cool. Over here I have a worn and used impeller that is definitely gonna cause issues and overheating on your boat. Um, we recommend changing your water pump impeller every 50 hours. That's one of the most important things you can do on your boat to keep it functioning properly and have a great day on the water. Um, it's often overlooked. Take the time, make the investment, do it right. Change your water pump impeller and you will have a great time on the water. All right, here we are at the transom of the boat and we've got the engine compartment open. Um, there's three things that we really urge you to do to have a successful day on the water. The first is to check your engine oil. The second would be your transmission oil, and also your third would be your V-drive fluids. Those three fluids are absolutely critical to have a successful day on the water. Um, so take the time, check your fluids, and have a great day boating. All right guys, here we are at the front of the new 23 LSV um, up in the bow. Malibu and Axis have done a nice job uh, making their batteries easy to access. This is one of those things that we really recommend checking before your first time out on the water. Make sure those batteries are charged up and holding a good charge so that when you go to the lake with your family, that boat starts. Um, take the time, invest in good deep cycle batteries, and it will make all the difference on the water. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helps you have a successful trip out on the water. Um, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and we hope to see you on the water. Thanks.